competitive Friday night, January 25th. We welcome you to H.H. Dow High School. It is time for Saginaw Valley League Basketball on MPS TV as the Midland High Gimmicks make the short drive down Saginaw Street to Dow High to take on the Dow High Chargers. The Gimmicks and the Chargers round number two here on MPS TV. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. And Tom, tonight we have a rematch of a game that went Midland High's way back in December. But since that time, these two teams have uh, they've kind of uh, went a little different directions. Midland High has been defense-oriented from the get-go. And after that game against Dow High, Mark Dickerson and the Chargers, he kind of changed his philosophy a little bit and said, let's focus on defense. It has helped the Chargers in the second half of the season. You know, and it was one of those times in practice. He, he challenged his team, and uh, one of his players, uh, Sam Drake, was probably the most vocal player on the team, and others followed saying, you know, if we're going to have a successful season, uh, we've got to play really hard-nosed defense and play together. There's the Dow High student section. They're uh, fired up and uh, ready to go for tonight's game. Great to see the uh, students out and about for the contest tonight. The uh, pep band in the background as well as the uh, Chargers looking to avenge the loss early in the season, but they're playing a very tough Midland High basketball team. The gimmicks coming in under veteran coach Eric Krause, 9-3 and three on the season. They are 1-1. One and one. They're coming off a tough loss against Saginaw High at a game, Tom, that Midland High was tied at the end of the third quarter against Saginaw High, and then things kind of fell apart in the fourth quarter. But this is a Kimmick team that is competitive against just about anybody in the state. Yeah, and they, they play very hard-nosed defense themselves and have been for the major part of the season. And, uh, you know, the, the game with Saginaw did get a little bit away from them towards the end, but they were in it the whole way, and Saginaw is a rated, highly rated team in the state. On the other side, Mark Dickerson and the Dow High Chargers coming in 4-6 and six overall. The Chargers are 1-0 and oh in the Saginaw Valley. Dickerson is very optimistic about the second half of the season for the Dow High Chargers, but they are dealing with a little bit of a short bench. Only nine players dressed for the Chargers tonight. Yeah, and uh, he's dealing with a couple of people that uh, are either out for the season, questionable. Uh, he's missing uh, J Jacob Stone. Uh, his 6'7 uh, forward, uh, he may not be back. Uh, the injury that he has right now, uh, he's not expecting him back, but he might be. Uh, but, uh, you know, they're, they're having to play the people that are left. Yeah, Jacob Stone is questionable to doubtful for the season. Jordan Plewa is out with a shoulder injury. He is out for the rest of the year. So a little bit of an injury bug affecting the Dow High Chargers. Right now, let's turn things over to public address announcer Jason Jahowski.
Up, Tom Fitch, Sam Drake, Isaac Molinar, Nick Soraki, and Anthony Feitler. Midland High will counter with uh, Zach Strike, John White, Isaiah Bridges, Henry Kessler, and Mason Pilgrim, who is starting tonight for the Midland High Kimmicks. He missed the last Charger game, but Pilgrim on the floor getting the starting nod for Eric Kraus. Chargers in their home white uniforms with the green Lettering, Midland High, the visiting blue uniforms, gold lettering for the Chemex. And the uh, tip-off will be eventually won by the Dow High Charger for off and running with the Saginaw Valley League basketball. This is the game that will count in the standings of the Saginaw Valley. Driving in and a nice uh, drive by Tom Fitch comes up empty-handed for the Midland High Chemex. Will come back with their first possession of the game. And the first turnover of the game. Well, when we saw Midland play before, they had a number of players to, uh, auditioning for the point guard position. And right now, it looks like Zach Strike has been the winner of that co contest, uh, at least for the starting role at point guard. Both teams have been focusing on defense. Expect this to be a little bit of a defense-oriented contest. Chargers with the basketball. Student section making a lot of noise. Turnaround shot taken by Molinar is off the mark. Molinar had a huge game a couple of weeks ago against Saginaw Arthur Hill. And we've got a foul called away from the basketball. I think they're going to get Nick Soraki. And they did. Soraki with a foul away from the ball. Yeah, Molinar had 42 points against Saginaw Arthur Hill and got them from a variety of different spots on the court. He's uh, emerging as a leader on this Dow High Charger team. Isaiah Bridges is the leading scorer for Midland High, but Bridges misses the three-pointer for the Kimmix. Three-point attempt for the Chargers. First basket of the game will come from Nick Soraki. The guard played in the first matchup between these two teams, but saw limited time. He was still battling a knee injury, but Soraki is near 100% at this point. Scores the first basket. Midland High underneath. Great second effort, and John White will put the ball up for Midland High. Chargers leading by a point. 90 seconds into the contest here tonight. Nice bounce pass by the Chargers. Now they'll work it back out to Soraki. Feeds it over to Molinar. Three-point. Count it. May have missed the first shot. Nothing but not the second time around. Isaac Molinar hitting the three. Chargers leading by four. Pilgrim with the ball for the Kimmicks. He's a senior on this Midland High team. Now to Zachary Strike. Strike lost the dribble briefly. Feeds it over to Henry Kessler. Back up to White as the Kimmicks look to set up an offense. Isaiah Bridges will feed it back out over to Pilgrim. And we've got a charge called against Pilgrim. Yeah, I think Soraki was the first one to the baseline on that one, and that was probably a pretty good call. I was going to ask you, depending on if you're a Charger fan or a Kimmick fan, may depend on how you saw that, but uh, you think you think the official got it right? I, I do. I think Soraki was there. There wasn't any place for Pilgrim to go. And we know Soraki's not afraid to uh, 
he's physical when it comes, to, you know, he, he's not uh, afraid to get hit. That happened from time to time. Jacob Tomfitch, three-pointer, top of the key. Dow High Chargers looking for revenge, and they have built a, a seven-point lead here early on in this contest. Strike working the ball for Midland. Switches directions, goes baseline. No place to go and try to force it inside. The turnover by Molinar, but then the Chargers will give the ball right back. There's Eric Kraus, veteran coach of the Midland High Chemex as Midland brings Christian Gordon, who has been starting, but with Mason Pilgrim getting the start tonight, Gordon will come off the bench for Midland High. Gordon's got the ball now for the Kimmicks. Bounce pass inside to Bridges. Bridges turns around, fires a shot a little bit too hard, and the Charger Soraki will get the rebound. Tom Fitch fires again, no good. Rebound pulled down by Midland High. It's uh, physical in the first three plus minutes of this contest. Zach Strike working with the ball for Midland. To Kessler, Kessler goes inside to Bridges, back out to Kessler, back to Bridges. Bridges finds strike at the top of the key. Midland High working to the right-hand side. Nice bounce pass inside, but John White had heavy pressure. Two different defenders making that shot difficult for White. I thought that was a, a, a quality trip down the court for Midland High now. Soraki will feed it over to Anthony Zeitler. Goes back up to Soraki. Soraki in the paint, trying to find some place to go. Eventually finds Sam Drake, but Drake will travel. So both teams uh, committing a couple of turnovers, maybe a little uh, too fast-paced at, at times. You know, both teams may want to settle things down as Al Money checks into the game. He's a sophomore for the Midland High Kimmix. Well, Dow really hasn't created anything with their speed on offense yet. But, um... I think when, when they can set up the outside shot, they're going to be better off. Isaiah Bridges, three-pointer. He missed a couple early on, but Bridges hitting the three. He's the leading scorer for the Midland High Chemex. 3.45 to go here in the first quarter. Dow High leading by four. A couple of dribbles by the Chargers. Now works to Zeitler. Zeitler will hit a fire, a three-pointer. It's no good. Rebounding. Chargers will come away with it. Turnaround shot and a foul is going to be called. Sam Drake will go to the line. Isaiah Bridges will be called for the foul. Seemed like it may have been a little late on that whistle. At least that's what uh, Krause is uh, saying, but... Nonetheless, Sam Drake will go to the free throw line for the Chargers. A couple of subs coming into the game for Dow High. Garrett Daniels entering the game and Scott Stokes also coming in to the contest. Drake is the player that kind of uh, has become a leader for the Dow High Chargers. It was a, a practice, you mentioned it earlier, that he kind of took charge and said, hey, we need to right this ship. And since that time, the Chargers have done just that. In fact, they're undefeated in early Saginaw Valley play. Chargers coming in four and six overall, but they do have that one Valley win over Bay City Central. And one thing with uh, with Sam, it started with him and others followed. You know, it's, it wasn't just one person. It became a group thing. Nearly stolen away by Scott Stoltz, but instead Midland High will keep uh, possession. And we'll, we'll talk about Stoltz later on in the game, too. Okay, all right. Three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Nice drive there as Midland High's Henry Kessler, the senior, puts the bucket in. Kimmix have pulled within two of the Chargers. Three minutes to go here in the first period. Bounce pass inside to Stoltz, and a foul is going to be called on Money. The uh, fans don't like it, but that may have been a, a situation, Tom, where the top was okay, but Money connected uh, with the, the body underneath. It, it was his knees that he, he kind of uh, chopped him down a little bit. Drew Barry has checked into the game for the Kimmicks. Sam Drake with the ball for the Chargers over to Zeitler. 
Seitler, bounce pass inside. Nice steal by Christian Gordon, but it's stolen right back by the Chargers, and we're going to have a jump ball called. And we figured it'd be uh, kind of a defense-oriented. <laughs> Jacob Tomsich has checked back in, so has Nick Siraki. 2.45 to go here in the first quarter. Dow High leading by two. Chargers have the ball underneath their own basket. Tomsich working, stolen away. Coming up with it is Henry Kessler, but can't get the shot to go. Gordon will get the rebound. Feeds it out to Bridges. Bridges goes inside. Bridges is going to be called for a charge. And it was Siraki that chose to stand in his way. That took some guts. Second charge called against Midland High. And you've, you've got to like the aggressiveness that you're seeing from Midland, but two-player control fouls is something the Chemics may want to, uh, again, they're fired up, Chargers are fired up, the fans are fired up, but you may want to calm down just a tad. Yeah, you know, you, you want to uh, be able to spread out your fouls a little bit uh, and, and set up your offense. Chargers, Isaac Molinar, Fires a three-pointer. He was contested, but no problem for Molinar. Two three-pointers in the game for Isaac. Two minutes to go in the first quarter, and a turnover. Dow High will come away with the ball. Molinar with the basket again. Now he'll feed it back out to Nick Siraki. Wide open for a three. Count it. A lapse in defense. The Chargers take advantage of it. Siraki hits the three-pointer. Okay, that guy's a football player. And a good one. <laughs> yes. And he's, he's, good basketball player, He's too. decent on the basketball court as well. He is. Nice shot. Al Money. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound put back by Barry. That shot is no good. Siraki will pull down the rebound for the Chargers. Tomsich, three-pointer. Chargers have hit three back-to-back-to-back three-pointers. It's raining. It's raining. They have built an 18 to seven lead. Chargers can't miss from three point range. Al Money tries to go inside, Chargers knocked it away. Sam Stoltz, or Scott Stoltz with the defense knocked it into the hands of Tom Fitch. One minute to go here in the first quarter. Nick Siraki working the ball over, spin move, and we're gonna have a foul away from the ball, maybe a moving screen. I think that's what uh, was called. Nick Siraki called with the uh, moving screen. Okay. Midland High will bring Mason Pilgrim back into the game. Well, Dow's speed on offense has slowed down just a tad, and they're far more uh, successful. 50 seconds on the clock here in the first period. Chargers playing great basketball, looking to avenge a December loss to this Midland High gimmick team. Midland High, Drew Barry will feed it out to Kessler. Kessler over to Pilgrim. Now back to the top of the key. Three-point shot gets a uh, friendly bounce on the visiting rim by Christian Gordon, who hits a three-pointer for Midland. We're going to have a foul called. Are they gonna, they're going to get Gordon for that one. Yeah, Somewhat they, surprised. I thought maybe Daniels was going to be the culprit, but instead Gordon picks up his second foul. Justice Drabeck has checked into the game for the first time for the Dow High Chargers. Eight-point game, 22 seconds to go in the first quarter. Tomsich working the ball for the Chargers over to Molinar. Molinar takes a couple of dribbles. Nice spin move there, but partially blocked by Henry Kessler. Kessler getting it done defensively. Eight seconds to go. Midland across midcourt. Kimmich with a couple of dribbles by Pilgrim. Fires it inside. Mason Pilgrim able to drive to the bucket. And we come to the end of an exciting first quarter of play with the now high Chargers leading by six, 18-12 over the Midland High Chemex. So I'll tell you what, Tom, Chargers, they've, uh, they've came to play some basketball. You know, and it, there was three minutes left in that quarter, and neither team had 10 points. And then all of a sudden, uh, Dow just exploded. Midland got a little bit of a run, but they're, they're down by six. 
and they, they, they deserve it right now. You are watching high school basketball on MCTV and MPS-TV. And if you missed some of the action from December and uh, early January, whether it be basketball or hockey or wrestling, you can check out the replay on MPS-TV, uh, or you can head online and uh, check out replays on YouTube. To find out when this game will air, check out the Sunday edition of the Midland Daily News or go online to the MidlandPS.org website. Follow the tab to the uh, TV station and you can find out uh, when it will air. And again, you can also watch these games in high definition on YouTube. Halftime, or halftime stats. We're, we can't predict the future. We'll go with the uh, first quarter stats. Okay. The, uh, the now high charger, six three-pointers by uh, three of the players. Tom Fitch, Molinar, Siraki, they were just uh, reining in the three. For Midland High, five different players have combined for the 12 points that the Kemmicks had. That's uh, spreading out the scoring a little bit. Yeah, it, it is. But I think for Midland to be successful, we need to see more from Isaiah Bridges. His shot just isn't dropping like I, he'd like it to. He's only had one three-pointer in the first quarter. So the second quarter is now underway. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, stat, uh, statistician Jeff Yoder. Kevin LeDuc is our uh, director. Matt, Chris, Jim, Tom, they're all volunteering tonight to bring you action here from Dow High. We've got them all at no cost. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, not exactly, but, right. you know. Exactly, yeah. They would gladly volunteer to, to spend time with us, Tom. They're, They're valuable. No doubt in my mind. They're valuable, yep. Put six, together a good product. Six-point Dow High lead. Chargers working with the basketball. Goes back out to the top of the key. Now we'll work it over to Tom Fitch. Tom Fitch is just a junior. Now feeds it to Zeitler. Nice pass there to Sam Drake. His uh, shot is no good, but Drake will be fouled while attempting that three-pointer. And as a result, Sam Drake will have uh, three free throws coming up for the Chargers. Now, when he was there before, the ball just didn't roll off his hands very well, and uh, the result was not very favorable. That looked better. And he's shooting those free throws not too far away from the Kimmick student section. <laughs> Working on those concentration and focus skills. Second one missed. But he's got one more coming. Two of three. Here's Sam go. Drake on the free throw line. Back to an eight-point lead. Some youngsters watching this contest. Just under seven minutes to go here in the second quarter. Great defense pressure applied by Zeitler, but the Kemmicks able to break free. Pilgrim drives in, puts up the shot, count it. Mason Pilgrim. Happy to be back on the basketball court is uh, Pilgrim and the Chargers with a turnover. We mentioned earlier the Dow High Chargers without a couple of players. Midland High without a uh, couple as well. But uh, Trey Childry will be returning to action very soon for the Midland High Kimmick. So both coaches will be happy to try to try to get a full roster of basketball players. Yeah, and you, you practice better too. You get uh, a full full group. You don't have to have assistant coaches standing in. Nice drive by Strike, Zachary Strike, and Mark Dickerson can just watch as, Zyke, as Strike takes it to the, uh, the hoop and a nice drive there by Midland. Bridges knocking the ball away, Chargers will recover. Baseline for Dow will feed it back out. Three-pointer count at Anthony Zeitler, the junior, able to hit the three. Another Charger can add his name to three-point range for Dow High. 5.40 to go here in the second quarter. Nice baseline drive. Going to get the bucket, but John White will go to the free throw line. Great he hesitation on that drive. Uh, le left Dow kind of sleeping a moment. Gave him a lane. So White going to the free throw line. 
Six foot two senior is White. Very versatile on the basketball floor and he's able to hit the free throw. Meanwhile, Isaac Molinar will come back into the game. Molinar was held just to five points in his last game at Bay City Central, but he was f fighting either food poisoning or a quick flu bug. It just wasn't feeling well. Chargers working on the perimeter. Five and a half to go here in the second quarter. Chargers leading 23 to 17. Midland won the first meeting between these two teams. That was back in December. There's been a lot of changes and a lot of basketball played between the first game and the second matchup. Seidler picked up his dribble, but it gets bailed out by Sam Drake. Now goes to the top of the key. Over to Garrett Daniels, who will feed it back to Drake. Kimmich have picked up their defensive pressure a little bit, pulling it out a little bit more. They really have. And you're getting applause from the fans. Molinar drives in, loses the handle on it, but it goes out of bounds. Last touched by Midland, but strong defense by the Kimmichs as Christian Gordon checks into the game. Great shot of uh, the officiating crew tonight. Of course, if you are interested in being a high school official, you can go to the MHSAA website. There's a tremendous need for sports officials, and it doesn't have to be basketball, whatever sport you happen uh, to enjoy. And beautiful drive there, ducking down and uh, getting the bucket. Garrett Daniels, the junior for the Dow High Chargers. Great move. 25-17, Dow, four and a half to go here in the second quarter. Three-point shot for Midland, count it. Mason Pilgrim having a pretty good first half, and Midland High pulls within five. Dow High answers the three-pointer, they can't do it. Chemex with the rebound. Zach strike over to Isaiah Bridges. Feeds it over to Kessler. Kessler, three-point, count it. Henry Kessler with the three. Kemmicks have pulled within two with 3.50 to go. He kind of knew what was going in, too, when you looked at Kessler retreating. Momentum may be shifting a little bit in favor of Midland. We've got a uh, foul. I'm not sure it's a... Uh, I think it was on Gordon. Must be a one and one situation. The foul on Gordon, which is going to be his second. And that will send Garrett Daniels to the free throw line for the Dow High Chargers, who are in the bonus. Daniels who has a sub waiting at the table, says, I'm not ready to uh, <laughs> to go out yet. I don't think that's why he missed, but no, we'll, no. we'll but give that as a reason. There are a lot of stories about pro players that do that, though. <laughs> Turnover by Midland High. Now uh, Justin Drabick, or Justice Drabick, excuse me, will enter the game, and Daniels will head to the sideline. Mark Dickerson is going to call a timeout with three and a half minutes to play here in the second quarter as the uh, game has uh, become a little bit closer. Only a two-point lead now for the Dow High Chargers. Well, I was talking to Mark Dickerson just last night and I uh, said, you know, you've got two things going for you tomorrow. You've got the, it's the Valley game and you're playing at home and it's a Friday night. I guess that's three. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and, the, and you get a lot of people coming on, on Friday night. Thursday nights, maybe not quite as many. Always good to uh, see a great crowd watching and supporting high school basketball, and uh, we are witnessing that tonight. There's a man that uh, never tires at all. Tom Knob has, uh, he is all over the place with that uh, steady cam. You, you can't you can't stop him. He has been up and down the court almost as uh, much as the basketball players have. There's a shot from his camera over the uh, shoulder of the official, but Tom, one of the MCTV uh, volunteers, 
Hasn't quite surpassed Jim Malek as uh, Mr. MCTV, but Tom's close. He's in the running. Coming up with the steal, the Midland High Chemics. Getting the turnover. Kessler comes away with the steal. Now strike will go to the baseline. Feeds it out. Working the ball around. And back into the hands of Kessler. Goes baseline to Gordon. And Gordon will put up the basket. I love watching Christian Gordon and Nick Siraki play basketball because they play basketball just like they play football. Very aggressively. I'm going to drive in. And you know, if you hit me, that's okay. If you follow me, that's okay. But I'm, I'm going to make my move and... Those are two football yeah. players that are also uh, basketball players. Baseline drive there by the now high chargers, Isaac Molinar, able to answer the call and work the baseline. Back to a two-point advantage for Dow. Strike. His shot may have been partially blocked by Molinar. But the Chargers losing the handle. Now the Chemics will come back. Great pass. Oh, try to feed it back to him. Well, great idea, but maybe a little too fancy. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I think Henry Kessler thought that uh, player to his left might have been closer to 6'5 and not 5 foot, or 6 foot. John White comes in for Midland. Devin Alexander has entered the game for Midland as well for the first time. Alexander had a great game against Dow High back in December. He's on the floor for the first time. A couple of changes for the Chargers as well. If there's a, oh, they're going to, they're going to call a foul, not a travel. Isaiah Bridges is going to pick up his third foul. Eric Krause is a lot more calm than I would have expected him to be after that foul call. Well, you know what Eric's doing. He's got his hand over his mouth. So and, nobody, uh, so we can't read so his he, lips. He's given the ref all, all sorts of static on that call. But he's doing it in a way that draws absolutely no attention. And that is something that a lot of coaches can learn from. You don't have to scream and yell because if you scream and yell, you're going to make the official upset. Eric Krause right. just got his point across without anybody getting upset. Devin Alexander, rebound in a bucket, and Alexander will have a chance for a three-point play. Once you show up the referee, uh, he's going to tee you. Yeah, De Devin Alexander had a great night when we saw them play before uh, over at Midland High. Free throw is no good, but John White will get the rebound. Midland High may have a chance to really take advantage. They tied the game up on Alexander, but a charging call is going to go against Christian Gordon. Third player control foul of the game that goes against Midland. That is three on Gordon as well. So both Bridges and Gordon find themselves in foul trouble, and Al Money will check into the game for Midland High. I think Gordon thought it was third down and two yards to go, I think, on that one. 145 to go here in the second quarter. All tied up 27 to 27. Chargers, Molinar into the paint, gets the friendly roll. Isaac Molinar breaking the tie. Chargers back up by two. Pilgrim with the ball being defended by Shane Jude, who checked in a couple of moments ago. Now to back to Money. Al Money goes inside and able to escape. Three was Kessler. He ends up being fouled, but it was on the floor, so Midland will get the ball out of bounds. 116 on the clock. A standing room only crowd here watching the game between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. You know, as fast paced as this has been, I've been impressed with the refereeing. I think it's been very balanced and fair. Yeah, the three very quality officials working this contest. Three-pointer counted for Drew Barry, the freshman, getting his first basket of the game. And the Midland High Chemics have their first lead of the game with 50 seconds to go. Took them a while to uh, get the lead, but can they keep it at halftime? Not if the Chargers have anything to say about it. As Molinar works into the paint, one direction, other direction, he travels. 
Well, Midland High is challenging more on the arc now, so Dow High not getting that easy three-point shot, which built that initial lead in this quarter. And so it's really brought the game back together again. 30 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Midland may be playing for the final shot of the quarter, but uh, well, that won't happen because uh, the Chargers had a foul to give. So they ended up uh, doing that to stop the offense of the Midland High Kimmix. 24 seconds on the clock. It's a one-point Midland High lead. Drew Berry working the basketball for Midland. Now works it over to Mason Pilgrim. Pilgrim takes a couple of dribbles, goes into the paint, and another charge called against the Kimmick. And that's <laughs> Siraki. That's number three. He, he's not afraid to get hit, and it has worked to Dow High's advantage. Nick Siraki says, I'm going to plant myself, and if you want to hit me, do it. And he picks up... Uh, you know, gets the, gets the charge to go against the Midland High Kimmick. Boy, I mean, that, that looks a lot like uh, the Matt McQuaid for Michigan State drawing the, the charges. For the Dow High Chargers, we'll have 10 seconds to try to regain the lead just before halftime. Clock down to five, four. Couple of troubles by Molinar. Feeds the baseline. Clock down to one. They're not going to get the shot off. And great defense in the final 10 seconds of the half. And... After the Chargers built a lead in the first quarter, Midland High comes back slowly but steadily here in quarter number two, and the Kimmicks will take a one-point lead into the locker room. And it was all about defense. Uh, they, uh, they, they saw what Dow was doing. They uh, got a lot of open looks from the three-point line, and uh, I don't know what Krause said during a timeout, but it certainly was was heated with seriousness, and they they stopped the outside shot. Uh, Eric Krause has been uh, focusing on defense this entire season, and that defense is what led to Midland High taking the lead late in the first half. Yeah, and, and de defense is is an effort and teamwork, and you should be able to apply defense every single night. Offense will come and go. But uh, Midland's had enough offense towards the end of that second quarter. They've surged to just a one-point lead where they were quite a ways behind uh, midway through that quarter. For the Midland High Kimmicks leading by one exciting first half, we will await what happens the next 16 minutes of this Saginaw Valley basketball game. At halftime, if the Midland High Kimmicks 30, Dow High 29, you're watching High School Basketball on MPS-TV. With the MCTV Network, you can share your story through television, online video, social media, and podcasts. Since 1984, MCTV has provided public access to television for the people and organizations of Midland. This hasn't changed. However, there are many other ways for you to reach your audience wherever they are and whenever they want. Call 837-3474 for details. Follow us on Facebook and search for MCTV Community Voices on YouTube or podcast platforms for more local stories. Join us to build a better community through media at MCTV. We are back at H.H. Dow High School. It is halftime where the Midland High Kimmicks lead the Dow High Chargers 30 to 29 in boys basketball action. A very exciting first half of play that saw the Dow High Chargers control the first quarter, but the Midland High Kimmicks come back in the second quarter and there take a look at that eric kraus is uh that was the play back in the uh back in the in the second quarter that was a uh, a play that did not work for the midland high chemics and kraus just did his uh, best demonstration of that play you gotta love that eric kraus one of the uh one of the longest reigning coaches only roy johnston of uh of beaverton has had more uh, more years coaching locally than what Eric Krause has had. He's got a, a great rapport with the players and just does a tremendous job for the Midland High Kimmicks. Yeah, and just talking to Eric, he's not afraid to come up with a new, fresh idea. And uh, I think that that makes him uh, viable and very popular with his, with his players. Halftime statistics, compliments of Jeff Yoder. 
Isaac Molinar, 10 points for the Dow High Chargers. They've had seven three-pointers by four different players, most of those in the first quarter. But the Chargers have uh, had a little bit of trouble in the free throw area, two of seven on the free throw line. Midland High, Mason Pilgrim, the leading scorer, seven points. Isaiah Bridges, only three points in the game. He also is battling foul trouble. Three-point attempt by the Chargers early in the third. No good. John White will pull down the rebound for Midland. Kimmix in the blue and gold. Chargers in the white and green for the contest. They've got the gold trim around the numbers to the Chargers as well. So they sticking with their green and gold colors. Molinar working the ball for the Dow High Chargers. Three-point shot. Take it and no good by uh, Dow High. So the score remains as it was at halftime, a minute into the third quarter. Isaiah Bridges, that three-pointer is no good. It's Three. not dropping for him yet, but it will. Well, every now and then you, you just don't find the mark. Tomsich didn't find the mark, but Bridges had a nice job pulling down the rebound. Kimmick come across midcourt. Nice drive by Strike, but he doesn't get the bucket. Everything but the basket. Nice read, nice move, but no points to show for it. Chargers jump shot, maybe a little push off, but no whistle. But Feitler unable to get that shot. And teams are uh, coming out of the uh, halftime locker room. These two teams shooting cold here in the third quarter. Baseline by Pilgrim. Spin, but he'll get the bucket and the foul. Sometimes you just need a move to, uh, to snap things free, and now Mason Pilgrim will go to the free throw line. And that's an element that Midland High was missing in the first, first half, and they just have to get the ball to Bridges uh, and get it to him without the double team. Bridges completes the three-point play for Midland High. Kimmich leading 33 to 29, six minutes to go in the third quarter. Kimmich won the first meeting of these two teams by 18 points. This one a little bit closer, and after the three-pointer by Jacob Tomsich, the game is even closer, back to a one-point battle. Strike, dribbling over to Kessler. Goes back up to John White. White dribbles inside, back over to Kessler. Now though. Swing it the other direction. Looking to swing it back. White, no, nice play there defensively, but Midland recovers. Baseline shot is no good by Kessler. Chargers coming back the other way. Sam Drake with nice defense on that last drive for the Dow High Chargers. Three-point shot, count it. Chargers regain the lead. Jacob Tomsich with back-to-back -back three pointers. And we're just not seeing the uh, intensity on defense we saw right before the half uh, from Midland High. Bridges in the paint will feed it out. We'll get the ball back. Spin move by Bridges. Count it. Back and forth. These two teams battle. We are tied at 35 with just under five minutes to go in the third quarter of this contest. Sam Drake with the ball. Bounce pass inside of Molinar. And Molinar will draw the foul. He gets a chance to go to the free throw line. Well, hopefully Molinar can help Dow's average at the free throw line. They're uh, shooting around. What, what is two for seven? That's, that's just not very good, is it? <laughs> it? Okay. To be exact, it's bad. Those are the uh, scientific numbers I expect from a former math teacher, Tom. <laughs> Yeah. Nobody would blink an eye if, if I couldn't, uh, you know, come up with a percentage. But uh, you, know, you, you might have some explaining to I do. I believe it's 286 because two for seven in baseball is 286. So maybe that's pretty close. Molinar, one of two on the free throw line. Chargers on top by a point. Four and a half to go in the third. In, try to force it inside. Chargers coming up with a steal, but then Midland High will get the ball right back. High school basketball on 
MPF TV, Jason Harper, Tom Bell, statistician Jeff Yoder, and a great crew of staff and volunteers from MCTV bringing you this contest. We've also got hockey coming up uh, in a couple of weeks as well, so we'll head to the ice. Right now, it looks like Molinar stepped out of bounds and a turnover by the Chargers. In fact, back-to-back -back turnovers by Dow High. Well, I really like the facial expression on Molinar. He just accepted it and just went down the court. Back strike, drive in. No one to pass it, no one to drive, and strike takes it to the hoop for the Midland High Chemex. Midland back on top. What a great game. We expected this game to be a little bit closer than the first meeting, and we're not being disappointed. Back and forth, these two teams battle, looking for a Saginaw Valley victory. Tomsich with the ball okay. for the Chargers. Feeds over to Drake. Drake goes into the paint, works it back out over to Zeitler. Zeitler's three-pointer is no good. Battle for the rebound will be won by Bridges in the Midland High commit. Nice hustle by Bridges in the corner. Midland High looking to slow down the pace. Not for long. Three-pointer, no good. You make a good defensive play. You're feeling good to <laughs> shoot the three, but it does yep. not fall for Bridges. Tomsich works the ball for the Chargers. Now tries to go baseline. Contact, no whistle. Molinar's shot is no good. Bridges will get the rebound. Zach Strike drives in, can't get the bucket to go. Again, nice drive, but unable to get the two points off of it, and a travel by the Chargers will turn the ball over. Well, Zach Strike's number one sport is soccer, and he's using some of that speed on this short court, <laughs> so to speak. Eric Krause is going to call a timeout. 2.53 to go. Here in the third quarter, the Midland High Chemex leading 37 to 36. And very Christian Gordon spent the uh, couple of minutes before uh, that timeout was called talking to the officials. I think he wanted, you know, just clarification on something. And he did it in such a great leadership way. You, 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 we talked about, you know, Kraus talking to the officials earlier in a, you know, a polite way. You, you get a lot, you'll get a lot further if you talk politely to somebody than if you scream and yell. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, as, as a coach, you want to, to keep the rapport positive because you might need that call in the fourth quarter. And as for a player, you might just need that when it's a borderline charge or, or a defensive foul, uh, you might need that somewhere down the line. Now, there's been a lot of talk in the media, you know, why is there a shortage of officials in, in high school sports? And, you know, for a, the biggest reason is no doubt the fact that a lot of people believe that you can just scream and yell all you want at an official. That is the, the, the normal thing to do. That is the, the okay and proper thing to do. Tonight we're seeing a great job by the players and the coaches of, you know, trying to get away from that. Oh, not yeah. screaming, not yelling doing more talking, and hopefully that will continue and carry on when it comes to uh, high school athletics and we can get more people to put on the stripes. Right, and I think that uh, you, you've got to respect what those guys do. It, it's not easy. One-point lead for the Midland High Chemex. Kessler will feed it inside, and going up and getting the friendly roll is Devin Alexander. Played well off the bench in the first half, comes off the bench here in the second half and scores a quick bucket for the Midland High Chemex. Three-point Midland High lead, 2.20 to go here in the third quarter. Couple of dribbles by the Chargers. Sam Drake fires a shot, count it. Drake with the fadeaway shot to pull the Chargers within one. Well, neither team can pull away here. Feeds it out to Gordon. Christian Gordon will go to Isaiah Bridges. Bridges will go back to Alexander. Alexander triple team, but he gets the bucket. No, they're going to wave it off. They're going to say that it was on the floor. So the basket will not count. Instead, Midland High will have the ball out of bounds. I don't know, Tom. That looked like that uh, should have been a three-point play. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I, I do too. I, I think that that might have been. That one will be a chance for a three-point play if Isaiah Bridges will get the bucket and the foul. Bridges will have a chance for a three-point play. Meanwhile, Garrett Daniels appears to uh, have a, uh, a, a contact that popped out. They did get a, a sub in, so Daniels will be able to uh, be able to see again. Okay. Well, at least Midland on this trip down the, the court is going to end up getting an opportunity for a three-point play, even though uh, uh, with Alexander, our, I think the officials, uh, if they had a chance to call that again, they might have called it differently. I see a Bridger says, I'll make up for it, and <laughs> completes the three-point play. Midland 42, Dow 38, 140 to go here in the third. Chargers led for all but the final 30 seconds of the first half, and it's been back and forth here in the second half. Kemmick come away with a steal. Midland works across midcourt. Strike loses his dribble, but will be bailed out by a Christian Gordon, who then travels. He doesn't think he did, but he did. He's not happy. I think he's been told to kind of tone it down a little bit. They, they need him. Now he's he's a fiery in individual, and, and that is a 100% positive way. But, yeah, he's, he's yeah. charged up, as all these players should be, battling your crosstown rivals in a Saginaw Valley game. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Kessler tried to feed it inside, but... Alexander not quite ready for it, and now John White will come back into the game to give Bridges a, a quick breather. Dow High is uh, going to bring Zeitler back into the game. 54 seconds to play here in the third. Zach Jacob Thompson working with the basketball for the Chargers. Nice pass, but... Unable to be handled underneath by Drake. The Kemmicks will have the ball in plenty of time. 35 seconds to work with for the Kemmicks. And I think uh, Kraus wants them to run their offense. I don't think they're going to play to the last shot. I think they're going to look for something within their scheme. Like that, Henry like Kessler. That. Kessler breaking through two Charger defenders and laying it, laying it in for the Kemmick bucket. 15 seconds to go in the third. Kimmicks have their biggest lead of the game. Sam Drake with the ball for the Chargers. Drake picks up his dribble, clock down to five. Drake with a bounce pass inside. Nice job defensively by Alexander. Knocked the ball away, but now a reach-in foul is going to be called going against Kessler. 1.3 left to go in this third quarter. They're going to have to get the ball in and just push it up real quick. They do. And, well, they got the shot off, but the uh, shot by Seitler is off the mark, and we have played three minute, or three periods of uh, high school basketball. Eight minutes to go. Right now, it's the Midland High Kimmicks on top, 44-38 to 38 over the Dow High Chargers. Well, we're at a point now where, uh, you know, it's just going to take a little bit of a run, and this game could still be either team's. There's the uh, Kimmick student section having a uh, good time. A little roller coaster riding for the uh, Midland High students. And the Dow High Chargers, uh, they're just enjoying a little Neil Diamond. They're, <laughs> they're getting a charge out of Neil. Everybody gets a charge on Neil Dunning. I know. You, you can't go wrong with Neil. Hey, now it's Boston that plays Sweet Caroline during their baseball games? I believe so, yes. I think it is. And the Chargers have followed suit. Yeah. High school basketball on MCTV. Get, didn't get a chance to uh, get my promo worked in. So somebody's going to have to call a timeout so we can let you know how to become a uh, okay. volunteer. I was, I was distracted by the uh, student sections. Fourth quarter underway. 
up-to-date stats by uh, statistician Jeff Yoder. 12 points for Jacob Tomsich. Four, all three pointers for Tomsich. Molinar's got 11 points. Sam Drake, meanwhile, seven rebounds for the Dow High Chargers. Bridges can't get the shot to go out of bounds, and it will be Dow High Charger basketball. Bridges, 11 points, eight of them coming in the third quarter. Bridges also has uh, six rebounds. He may be on his way to a double-double, both uh, Kessler and Pilgrim, seven points. John White, five rebounds for Midland High. Chargers had the lead for most of the first half, but they trail the Midland High Kimmix here. A lot of time. We just started the fourth quarter. Drake drives, then feeds it out. Three-point attempt, no good. Zeitler had a good shot, but could not get it to rain through, and now the Midland High Kimmix will come back the other direction. Zach Strike will draw the foul. I've been impressed with Strike's ability to drive and locate passing lanes. I mean, he's not very tall, but uh, he's, he's able to find those little slots through the crowd. Uh, th that one especially uh, get, got the ball through about three chargers. Nice pass to Alexander, but he can't get the shot to go. Gets his own rebound. Put back attempt is no good, and Drake will get another rebound for the Dow High Chargers. Kemmicks had the attempt, and now a good job by Tomsich wrestling that ball away. Tomsich into the paint, can't get the shot to go. And Bridges will get the rebound for Midland. Kemmicks leading by six with six and a half minutes to go. This is the Saginaw Valley Contest, and there's a good chance that these teams will meet in the postseason, although they are in opposite brackets, I believe. Bridges pulls down the rebound, tries to go back up. He'll draw the foul. Well, we still have six minutes to go, but this is kind of a critical time for Dow. They're down by six, and they really can't let Midland build up a, much of a lead. Bridges on the free throw line, gets the free throw to go. The boys districts, by the way, will be held at Midland High. So the Kimmicks will have a chance to uh, win a district on their home court. Of course, they will have to uh, go through a very tough Mount Pleasant team in order to do so. And you can't write the Chargers out either. If the Chargers get hot towards the end of the season, you never know what could happen. So that, that's what makes basketball and March Madness so much fun. Yeah, de definitely. Justice Drabick is back into the game for the Dow High Chargers. Molinar with a shot that is no good. John White will get the rebound for the Midland High Kimmicks. Kessler works over to Gordon. Gordon goes back to Kessler. Kessler, jump shot, no good. Rebound, Charger, Sam Drake. Will come the other direction for the Dow High Chargers. No beautiful feed by Drake. And Anthony Zeitler will do the rest. Mark Dickerson will call a timeout as the Chargers are within six. But a great pass and a great bucket for Dow. And now Mark Dickerson says, let's come up with a game plan to... Uh, get back into this game. They're only down by six with five and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. And truly it's to uh, watch to make sure that Bridges doesn't take this game over. I knew somebody would call a timeout. Let us know that uh, this game being produced by MCTV staff and volunteers. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, sign up. Become an MCTV producer at one of our workshops. Not only will you learn how to produce, you can create a studio program, edit with Final Cut Pro editing software. You can also uh, learn how to do an audio podcast and uh, let your thoughts and opinions be known worldwide. To become an MCTV volunteer, all you have to do is call that phone number, 837-3474. Head online to the City of Midland website. You can also find us on Facebook, and uh, we'll accept your friend request, and you can become an MCTV volunteer. Well, the Midland crowd is enjoying this. Yeah, they're having a good time. 
six-point game, but there is a lot of basketball left to be played. Still five and a half minutes to go. Jason Harper, Tom Bell with you for this Saginaw Valley contest. So I don't know if, if Midland's going to try to slow it down. Uh, no, I don't think so. Here we go. Strike drives <laughs> to the bucket. John White, great rebound in the putback. Great rebound by White, and he goes back up. Chemex one and one in the Valley. They are nine and three overall. Chargers four and six overall, one and oh in the Valley. Neither team in foul trouble. That is only the third foul on Midland High here in the uh, second half. Chargers inbounding the ball. Couple of dribbles by Molinar. Could have went up, decides against it. Now Molinar will settle for the three. That doesn't fall through. The ball went over the uh, backboard, so that will be a Midland High basketball. Well, if Dow's going to get back into it, they've got to try to set up Molinar for some, some good outside shots, and right now his shot is he's struggling with it. White working the baseline will draw the foul. Nick Siraki picking the foul. That is the fourth foul on Siraki. So Siraki had a little bit of foul trouble. That's the sixth team foul. So Millen High will be shooting. That gives them a little more of an advantage to go along with their six point lead. John White travels. Well, when you think about it, Siraki's got four fouls, but he's drawn three charges. So he's had a pretty active day. Garrett Daniels will check in. Siraki heads to the bench. Four and a half to play. Back and forth, these two teams have battled right now. Midland by six. Daniels working underneath. Can't go up. Tries to force that up. And... A poor shot, but the Chargers were able to get the rebound and a foul called as Molinar tried to go in. Some of the Kimmick fans wanted to travel, but instead the foul is going to be called on Bridges, and now that's the fourth one on Bridges. So both teams have got a key player in foul trouble with uh, 413 on the clock. And Isaac Molinar able to get the free throw to fall. Checking back into the game, Devin Alexander as Bridges heads out. Charger student section looking to Will Molinar on the free throw line. It worked. Four point game. Yep. Looks like six. Well, it is, but <laughs> that's because I read the score of 46, not 48. Okay. So. Okay. Well, we got a lot of things to look through up here to see the scoreboard. Sean White. No, they're going to wave off the basket. They're going to call a travel instead. Eric Kraus. Yeah, he didn't like that call at all. Kraus wears his emotions on his sleeve. And he did not like the fact that White was called for a travel. Well, he needs to have his team keep their composure here. And he needs to follow. Christian Gordon blocking a three-point attempt. You know, I could have looked at the bottom of the screen for the score as well, but. Yeah, he probably could have. I could have. Gordon with the rebound. Three and a half to go. What a great game. And Eric Krause is going to call a timeout. Chargers had the lead most of the first half. And Eric Krause is all the way out. Yeah, he, he still is upset about the uh, travel call from the uh, play before. Yeah. He's not going to win that argument. No, no, no. <laughs> once, once it's gone by, you have no monitor to look at in high school basketball. So the Chargers had a lead in the first half. Midland has led most of the second half, but what a great game. And you know, last time these two teams played, Midland High won by 18 points, and it was not exactly a competitive game. No, this, <laughs> this, you know, Mark Dickerson told us before the game, he had a feeling it was going to be different. He was definitely more confident when we talked to him 
yesterday than what he was back in December. And it's showing the Dow High Chargers are playing good basketball. Midland High playing good basketball. And that equals a, a pretty fun game to watch. And this is what happens as the season moves on. You have all your players getting that much more experience. They're getting used to playing within the system. And you're going to see that improvement. And uh, we're seeing it tonight. You know their names, Tom? Uh, Mutt and Jeff? No, I, no, I would be not, Sir and Sir. Those are the school Sir re and Sir. Oh. Yeah, those are the school resource officers. To be now, honest, I've been retired for enough years, I do not know who they are. No. So, See, now, now, when you see the blue lights flashing in your rear view mirror, <laughs> just remember you called them Mutt and Jeff. <laughs> well, Mutt and Jeff should have difference in height. They really true. don't, actually. Isaac Molinar, 13 points. Sam Drake, nine rebounds. They've been the leader for the Dow High Chargers. Isaiah Bridges, 13 points and eight rebounds, but he's currently on, no, he's back in the game for Midland, but he's playing with four fouls. John White, meanwhile, seven rebounds and a great second half. Zach Strike misses the shot for Midland High. Chargers with the ball, three minutes to go in this six-point game. Tom Fitch. Working the ball, bounce pass inside of Molinar. Molinar into the paint, fadeaway shot, no good. Bridges pulls down the rebound. Bridges one board away from a double-double tonight. Dow High trying to trap Midland, put a little more defensive pressure on. Midland already in the bonus, so the Chargers can't foul. They can try to force a turnover. Two and a half to play here in the fourth. Bridges with the ball for Midland. Drives into the paint of Kessler. Beautiful feed underneath. John White with the bucket. That was a great possession for Midland High late in the game. Yeah, you, you continue to draw Dow out to the, the three-point line. It's going to give you some lanes to the basket. Dow High's got two minutes to come back. In this game, they need to score and start scoring. Tom Fitch, he's a three-point threat, but he loses the dribble out of bounds. Midland basketball. With 1.50 to go, this is make it or break it time. The Chargers need a turnover. They need a stop, and they need to fire up some shots. They're running out of time. Almost got a turnover there, but Midland High able to recover. Kessler working to strike. Eric Krause slowing down. He's going to force the Chargers to foul. With an eight-point lead, Midland doesn't have to, to score. They can force the Chargers' hand. And that's what Mark Dickerson is saying. Dickerson saying, you've got to foul. And eventually they do, although Midland may have been on the verge of losing that ball. In either case, Kimmicks are now going to go to the line, shooting one and one. Great shot there. You can see Eric Krause in the forefront, Mark Dickerson in the background. Let's not forget, Dickerson spent many a years as the JV coach under Eric Krause. The two men are extremely good friends. One of the things Krause is doing right now is keeping Bridges away from the basket on offense, uh, trying to keep him in open spots on the offense. Chargers uh, needed a three-pointer. Molinar put that shot up and did not get it to fall through. All by himself, John White underneath, and that may have been the move to turn out the lights on the Dow High Chargers. John White was left alone, and the Chemics have a 10-point lead with under a minute to go. Spin move by Tom Fitch. Kimmick's defense not allowing the Chargers to get any kind of easy shot. They forced that one up. It was no good. Bridges comes away with the basketball. Now the Kimmick students are already celebrating. They didn't get the ball across midcourt. Sam Drake can't get the bucket to go. But we've got a whistle and a foul called. Sam Drake will go to the free throw line. But unfortunately, if you're a Dow High Charger fan, Tom, it may be too little too late. 
And Drake is still a little shaken up after uh, the hard foul by Christian Gordon. So Mark Dickerson is going to call a timeout. Give Drake a little bit of a uh, chance to recoup. That's the fourth foul on Gordon, but a 10-point lead with 30 seconds to go. The Midland High Chemics, when all is said and done, if you take a great look at Eric Krause coaching. Yeah, I think he's just trying to get, get his troops to understand what the situation is, that they're going to foul them, get ready, don't uh, uh, make any dangerous passes, uh, everything high percentage, and just let the game click away. Well, when all is said and done, the Midland High Chemics are going to be pleased with this win. They were down in the first half, but they were able to, to come back, take the lead just before halftime, and then the second half was Midland High basketball. Yeah, it, uh, and they have just squeezed out enough uh, offense here in the fourth quarter to expand the lead. Dow struggling at the line uh, big, big time tonight. Uh, they've, they've struggled all game at the free throw line. One of two is Drake on the free throw line for the Chargers. Chargers putting on some uh, pressure. They're not ready to give it up yet. And a whistle will stop play, sending Midland High to the free throw line. Twenty-eight seconds on the clock, so the Kimmich students have been dying to celebrate. They just keep <laughs> waiting and waiting, and they've got to, you know, wait a little bit longer now. Free throw is no good by Kessler. Twenty-five seconds to go. Thirteen, uh, nine-point game. Nice block underneath. What a game, John White has had. And a foul is going to be called against the Chargers. But John White has played. He gets the uh, MVP award uh, from me for this game. Meanwhile, the uh, the clock has went out on one side, but it has not on the other. So there's 18 seconds to play. Oh, now it's back. Which I'm glad because that's the uh, clock that I look at was the one that uh, went out. Well, they fixed well, it. Well, uh, John, John White certainly a defensive player of, of the game. And he's had an, enough offense that's given them uh, a real boost. Zach Strike on the free throw line gets the uh, first free throw to go. Back to a 10-point lead. Chargers are going to bring Scott Stoltz back in the game. We didn't get to the story, and I know you wanted to, Tom, but so briefly, the abbreviated version, Scott Stoltz, the uh, grandson of uh, former Michigan State football coach, Denny Stoltz, and Scott is going to go to Michigan State, and he's going to be a, uh, going to help out in the football program as a student volunteer. He's also somebody, if you, you want to have a uh, trivia contest about sports, you may want Stoltz on your side. Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's got a, a good IQ and maybe a great coach someday. So he's going to be helping out the football program at Michigan State. Well, eight seconds to play, and Mark Dickerson is going to use a timeout. You have them, you might as well use them. And that will give us a... Uh, uh, I love the, uh, the, the student uh, section... Don't really need uh, the steam song played at the end, but that's all Probably right. Probably not, but it's it goes both ways. You know, at Dow was winning, we'd hear it there. Or if you've got Beaverton playing Meridian, you're going to hear it there. And so you just endure it if you're on the losing side, and you you cherish it for the moment if you're on the winning side. It's not the worst thing I've heard. Oh no, no. But I tell you what. I mentioned that just a couple of seconds ago, but the fact that the Midland High student section is having so much fun is uh, something that is much needed in uh, today's uh, high school society. Ha yeah. Have a good time. Come to a basketball game. Hang out with your friends. Watch your peers play basketball. Enjoy yourself, and you know, and it's all good. Yeah, it's it's a chance to come together and and watch uh, a, a common event. You ever watch, you know, soccer from the UK? You know, the crowd is more entertaining than, you know, than the game. 
or South Africa. I, I can't get those horns out of my head. Chargers with the ball, eight seconds to go. Dow High looking for a final shot. Mark Dickerson says, let's work on some things. Isaiah Bridges have not. Let's block that shot. And the Midland High Kimmicks can officially celebrate a win here tonight as the Kimmicks defeat the Dow High Chargers for the regular season sweep as Midland High comes away with a 53-43 victory. Uh, a hard-fought game on both sides. Yeah, I mean, they played right down to the end. Even Dow went with really no chance of winning in the last 10 seconds. Just gave it their all. Yeah, this was a fun basketball game to watch. No doubt about it yeah. as uh, these two teams did battle here tonight. As mentioned, Chargers had the lead for most of the first half, but the Kimmicks took over. But a great defensive game. We saw quality play from John White. Isaiah Bridges, I believe, may have got a double-double. If not, he was one. No, he did get a double-double. So Isaiah Bridges continuing his streak. And there's a great look. Eric Krause, Mark Dickerson, two solid coaches, two better men, and, you know, two friends off the court talking talking a little basketball. Oh, yeah. And, no, and, and when the game is over, they're probably talking about uh, – of uh, what, what they appreciated with each other's team's play or uh, maybe looking ahead to uh, games c coming up next week. But, uh, yeah, they're good quality guys. Uh, I think both programs are in, in good hands. So the Midland High Kimmicks come away with a 10-point lead here tonight over the Dow High Chargers. And uh, these two teams, there's a good chance that these two teams may meet come in the in the postseason, but uh, I'm not exactly sure of the of the brackets. But of course, Mount Pleasant thrown in there as well. I know Dow got a first round by. I believe oh. they play the winner of the Midland Bay City Central game. But again, I am not 100% on that. Either way, the boys' districts will take place at Midland High. So come the uh, first week of March, come on over to Midland High and watch some high school basketball. Tom, final thoughts on. Uh, uh, Great boys basketball game. Well, I think both these programs are, are c coming along. Uh, you've got energy. you got defensive pressure. You had some really nice uh, three-point shooting. Uh, really on both sides, it's just that Midland High was, was able to keep it going, defensive pressure in the second half, and just expanded the lead uh, to the point where Dow uh, j just it didn't have enough at the end. Jeff Yoder providing us some uh, final stats for the Dow High Chargers. Isaac Molinar, 13 points, three rebounds in the game for Molinar. Uh, Jacob Tomsich, 12 points. Sam Drake, five points, but he had 11 rebounds as well for the Dow High Chargers. But Dow High struggling on the free throw line, shooting only 50%. They did pull down 22 rebounds. Nine three-pointers for Dow, but all nine came in the first half. There was not one three-pointer in the second half for the Chargers, and that really it made the difference in this yes. contest. Yeah. For the Midland High Chemics, Isaiah Bridges picks up a double-double, 13 points and 10 rebounds. <laughs> well, you, you got to get your uh, little uh, jabs in whenever you can. And uh, well, the uh, the Chemics shirt over the Charger uh, banner, which was uh, erased by a Dow High fan, May have been that little jab. Oh, in good nature. But Isaiah Bridges, double-double. Henry Kessler, nine points for a rebound. John White, just uh, one shy of getting a double-double. Nine points, nine rebounds for John White. So the Midland High Chemics will celebrate. They improved to 10-3 and three overall. They are now 2-1 and one in the Valley. Chargers dropping down to 4-7. and seven. They are now 1-1 one one in the Saginaw Valley. Great MCTV crew bringing you the action here tonight. We thank them for all of their hard work. In a couple of moments, you're going to see their names scrolling across your television screen. If you know these guys and gals, say thank you for putting high school sports on MCTV. There's a couple of them uh, right there. Uh, Matt and Jim running cameras for us and uh, doing it all with a smile on their face. For our statistician Jeff Yoder and for Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. Our final score tonight, the Midland High Chemics 53, Dow High 43. Thank you for watching High School Sports on MPS-TV.